my first After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to make an easy background. You know it's quite not easy. It's pretty easy. Once you really get used to it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open it up, and we're going to. I'm going to show you what, what, I'm, what I made. Okay, so I'm going to put this project link in tutorial on how on so you can go ahead and mess around with it. But basically, this is what it is. It's just a quick, easy background. It's got a lot of movement. But at the same time, you can really change how much movement is going on. You can make it do slow movement or fast movement. It just depends on how much movement you want. If I really pay attention to the background. You see it. It just it just moves around. It's just very very simple, very minimal. It's not too complex like all these other backgrounds you see nowadays. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna be going over today on how to make. Okay, so let's go ahead and open new composition, and we're gonna name it example. Okay, so we're going to open up a new layer, a new solid, and we're going to go down to noise and green section and go to fractal noise. Okay, when you get this, it's going to be like, just like it is right now, just a bunch of, it looks like a bunch of fog, that's what I, I think it looks like, it's a bunch of fog. Uh, we're going to change the fractal type to a dynamic progressive, because that's what, that's what I've used. Um, I've used other ones before, I've used turbulent, basic, sharp, usually you won't mess with any of these, I mean like terrain. It's very, that's more of like a, see like all these, that's more of an overlay for like a video or some, like a music video or whatever. But if I really make a pretty clean background, I would use dynamic, 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 progressive, twist. Twist, twist gives it a little more kind of a trippy feeling, but progressive is the one I, I would choose if you're trying to go for the kind of background I'm going to show you how to make. Okay, so... Do I got my color to go with it? It just depends on what kind of color you want. So like I have black solid. If I go, uh, let me open it back up. If I go to uh, here we go overlay, it's gonna be black. Okay, so it's not a. It's this isn't really a good solid color. And now what we're gonna do is, um, in order to get rid of this, we just go back to normal. It's gonna go back to the fog. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add go to generate and add a four color gradient. It's funny, uh, four color gradient. Okay, so I'm gonna add this on top of the fractal noise, and there's nothing here. Okay, so the reason why there's nothing here is because it's on normal. So what you're gonna do is go back to back to the blending mode and go to overlay. And there you go. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention the noise type. You can change soft linear is what it com comes by default. You change it to linear or block. Okay, so what I have mine on is block. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the yellow color to uh, let me see, like a light blue kind of. There you go. Not really light blue, but you know what I mean. And it's a dark gray, and then the pink will be a, kind of a light kind of gray. It's a little bit. Okay, so those are our four colors that I picked. Move, move these switches around. Okay, and. I'll move that right, right there. Just give it a little bit more of a kind of a dark kind of feeling, but have more of a warm feeling to it. See, now it's, you can tell the green is starting to overpower everything. So what I'm gonna do is move that back in and resuppress it. Still too much. Move that out. Nope. Okay. So it kind of matches the first one I made. It's more of a the blue overpowers everything because that's a really light blue. So I'm just gonna tone it up just a little more. Oops, too much. Okay, right around there. Let's go to full one. There you go. Yeah, it's almost almost about the same. And what's cool with the four color gradient is. It has position modes, so I can see this, this X and Y coordinate. And what I like to do is, uh, if if you want a really interactive background, you can change the move the points. So I can I'm gonna put a keyframe on both green and and blue. And I'm gonna go. Let me see. Go real quick to like. I'm gonna go to two seconds, and then I'm gonna move the points around. So it moves down, down here, 
and now move the other one up there. Okay, so when I go and so we go ahead and ram preview this, I'm going to change that. Again. I'm not going to put it in a full. My computer isn't the best computer out there, so you can render it fast. But yeah, as you can see, it's the colors are moving. Yeah, well, they moved wherever they, I wanted them to, so it was like a quick two second move. What you could do is have them just go in a circle motion the entire time, and it really, it changes, really changes the background. You can play around with all that. There's more of whatever you really want, um, more of a personal preference. But with me, I would, I would probably stick with the static colors. Now, what you're going to do to make it move the actual blocks and everything, we're going to go to evolution. We're gonna put start keyframe at the zero mark, and we're gonna put it. At, heck, I'll put it at like 10, 10 seconds. And so what this evolution does, you can see it's moving around. Okay, so it depends on how how many ev evolutions you do, like how many cycles you do. Uh, like t like if I do 12, this thing, the 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 background is gonna move really quick, really quickly. So as you can see, it's that's not in full t real time, but it's just rendered real quick. Let me just show you. You see, as it's moving like really fast. So, if you don't want this, you uh, like I said, you can change it slow, fast, or whatever. What I would do is I would put it at like at seven or six. I'm put it at six, and it really slows it down. And you see, it's not really slowed down, but you can read uh, again. It's more you gotta read really tweak whatever you want the background to do. So let me go ahead and go back, and it's moving at the speed. It's cool. Let's move that to three evolutions, and let's see. Where it does okay? Now we're at three. So there you go. That's what I was going for. A slow moving background. It's not really slow. I mean, we can go slower than that, but it's not really fast. It's not really slow. So it's kind of that medium. Okay, so that's basically it right there. So how I made the the words move around like. That ma it was basically a mask right there, so I'll just show you how to make that real quick. I mean, I don't like to look at that. My mask got messed up, so ain't on point. But let me go ahead and do it. Uh, a text, and we're just going to put hello. Put it down right there. And what I like, and what I learned is, I really like the back, like the really a background behind my letters, behind my words. And so what I did last time was, well, not really last time, what I did on this is I, re I layered it behind it, so it just gives it that, it gives it like a more of a, it stands out behind the back, because without it, it looks kind of, not naked, it just doesn't, feel, it doesn't look right, because you can't really tell what it looks like, so if, I, if I remove that, it's like, okay, I could see it, but that gives it, that really makes it stand out, so... Uh, click T on your keyboard to go to opacity, this uh, shortcut, and I'm just going to tone it down to a eh, 60%. Okay, so what I did was, I'm going to use this pen tool right here, and I'm just going to make a quick mask. It probably isn't, it's probably isn't even going to be on point, let me get rid of that. Okay. What you could do is make it more of a level kind of mask. But I'm just gonna do a quick one real quick. Try to make sure I'm not off. Okay. And you can always mess around with this. But uh, just for tutorial purposes, let me go down here to the mask. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the subtract. Okay, so we're gonna do a mat. We're gonna go back. I guess we we'll go like to the second, two second mark. We're gonna shape. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, depending on where you want, it, how you want it, the the texture reveal, it's whatever you want to do. Um, mainly I would, I would do it the other way around. So I'm just, let me just go ahead and invert that. So I'm gonna keep it like this right here, and then by the three second, three second, yeah, right there. I'm just gonna change it again. And okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna click mask and I'm gonna control C on my keyboard and go down in here to the black solid six and control V. Now it's kind of funny I don't know why it does this but I 
you know, at their face has his own his mind of his own. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't mask. It doesn't copy the mask in the same kind of format that it did with the last mask, but uh, the same size. But it's fine. We can always change it anyways. And we're gonna have to change it because there's no point of having something like that. Take it right here, right here. Okay. So you want it to reveal with the mat. Okay, so we're gonna go here and by this time we need to get rid of that. Okay, we're just gonna bring that down. And that's it. Okay, so what I did also to create that fade in was and it's pretty cool, I didn't I just figured this out real quick. Um you go to solid and make a new black solid. Or turn, you're going to go to opacity again, click T on your keyboard. From 100%, uh, I just do like a one second fade in and turn opacity down to zero. And then that's it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and render it really quick. Hopefully, you can render Oh, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so that quick fade in and then. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Um, that's how to make a really quick and easy background on After Effects. Um, there's a bunch of different things you can do with, with fractal noise. That was just one of the examples that I had for you on how to make one. If you have any more questions on the video or, or if you want the project file, just look in the description. It'll be in there. If you enjoyed the video, like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, for more After Effects tutorials and a bunch of our tutorials on a bunch of <laughs> various topics. Um, on my next video, we're going to go over how to make a uh, countdown, a really quick countdown. But with that being said, I hope to see you all next time on our next video. Thank you for watching and have a very awesome, awesome day.